First at 7, a neighborhood stunned by a huge explosion in Harper Woods. It flattened a home and injured three people, two reported in critical condition. The blast rocked Lennon Street near Harper right around 1030 this morning. You OK? You OK, miss? You OK? Sit, sit down. Sit down, miss. Sit down. Sit down. You OK? Neighbors helping neighbors. This new cell phone video is from moments after the explosion, apparently caused by a buildup of natural gas in the home. Seven investigator Jim Kirster spent the day at the scene and has more on the big story. DTE Energy this afternoon put out a statement saying there were no reports of a leak before this explosion and all the lines were properly pressurized, meaning this was isolated inside the house. Three people were injured including this guy over here in the blue shirt and the blue shorts. We talked with his sister. He called her for help. The phone's are off the hook. Apparently a building blew up. The impact was like a bomb went off. This is her brother. He was taken by ambulance to nearby St. John Hospital, treated and released. He was so shaken up by the blast, he couldn't think straight. Walked four houses down the street, collapsed and called his sister. She doesn't want to show her face. When I got here, he was sitting in the grass with the dog and I asked him, was he OK? And he said he thought he was about to die. He said what? He thought he was about to die. We have one house completely exploded. Uh, notified MedStar, we have at least two serious injuries. Throughout the afternoon, investigators from DTE Energy went through what was left of the house to try to find the source of the natural gas. By mid-afternoon, they gave the all clear that no other gas lines were compromised. The blast was so strong it blew out windows at nearby businesses and debris was blown some two blocks away. Police say two real estate appraisers, a man and a woman, came to the house to inspect it. When the man opened the front door, that's when the buildup of gas inside was ignited. We believe uh, one person was opening the door and it caused a spark. That gentleman on the porch was knocked off the porch um, onto the lawn. A retired Detroit firefighter lives on this street. He says he also ran to help these people. He says the man had pretty extensive head injuries. He's still in critical condition. The woman was not as badly injured, but everyone is expected to survive. In Harper Woods, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Thank you so much, Jim.